And now for some working examples of Express Server in action. This is a WMS application from CAD Corp called Map Browser. I'm accessing the WMS link from Express Server of a customer website. The customer is the state of North Carolina and the program for their aerial photography is the NC One Map program. This imagery is publicly accessible via WMS and that's how I'm accessing it now. Inside of this application I can treat this imagery as I normally would, just panning and zooming. However, this is over 30 terabytes of imagery and it's being served from a server in North Carolina all the way over the internet to our offices here in Seattle. And yet the imagery performs just as smoothly as if it was here locally on my desktop. And now I can add my vector overlays and do the work that I need to do, analyze the imagery, and get things done. The next example I want to show you is a, a web application. Now this is built inside of Adobe Flash. So all of the controls here, this, uh, this whole rectangle that you see here is an Adobe Flash application that also uses WMS to connect to WMS servers like the Express server. And inside of here I can pan and zoom just as normally I would. And again the imagery is coming over the internet. This is the entire state of Idaho. Uh, I believe it's uh, about 40 gigabytes of data. And yet I can access this over the internet very easily and about 95 percent of all users already have Adobe Flash on their desktops. The next is another web application that's very similar to uh, what you would see inside of Google Maps. Uh, this is an Ajax application where you can zoom in by double clicking and you can just use your mouse to pan and zoom the map uh, as you normally uh, would expect. So you can zoom all the way right into the Seattle area here and uh, the imagery uh, loads in tiles. Uh, this application requests the imagery from Express Server in tiles and loads those tiles one at a time. Much like you see in today's uh, mapping applications on the web. And still it performs very quickly in spite of the large amount of data that is being served and stored on the server. The next application I want to show you is AutoCAD Map 3D by Autodesk. The first step is to go to File, Connect to Data, uh, add WMS connection and put in the connection name and the uh, server name. The version of WMS we use is 1.1.1. A good server to use is demo.lizardtech.com slash lizardtech slash iserve, I-S-E-R-V, slash O-W-S, question mark. And uh, you just hit connect. And there's no username or password required. So this loads all of the catalogs we have on our demo website. I'm going to use the Idaho data set. This Idaho data set is very comprehensive, uh, very detailed. I'm going to combine it into one layer and then add it to the map. And it takes just a second or two to add the layers. And there's the entire state of uh, Idaho. And now uh, inside of this I can just zoom in or I can put in coordinates. I can use the imagery as I normally would as if it was right on my desktop. And the only difference is that this imagery is actually stored on a server in our offices in Seattle. And I'm just connecting to that over the internet. This is over 40 gigabytes of raw data. There are many other ways to use Express Server. The ones I've shown you here today are some of the most common. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us at lizardtech.com.